General practices, General practices is an artist-run space. Originally a house, retrofitted, Originally a house to retrofitted to be a gallery, General, General Practice was founded by, by Carlos Regal, Yvette Yanis, Nick Klein, Nick Klein, and Viking Funeral. Viking Funeral. Ja General, Practice General Practice presents projects, projects in, New York in New York and, and Miami. Miami. Welcome to General Practice Presents. We have with us today Primitive Languages. Uh, I got a few questions for you guys today. Um, funny story from the road. Give me a funny story from the road. Very rarely is it uh, fun. But no, I mean, you meet incredible people and you see people. The reason why you tour, I think, is to see these people that are really, really, really important in their individual towns. And, uh, yeah. you know, you, 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 you know, more often than not, there's like one or one to five singular amazing musicians or artists or performance people that exist in the middle of nowhere. And per middle of nowhere place, they are actually shaping the future of art to come. The flip side of that is uh, these are people with no brand or agenda other than making qualitative work. And unfortunately, New York is a like upward mobility, like stasis chamber, yeah. where an upward mobility stasis chamber where nobody cares. No one cares unless they're told to care by some like sort of ridiculous tastemaker platform. Uh, Got it. And for me, my interests are as, uh, as television winds down to its uh, uh, last days, basically, uh, as, uh, you know, things like YouTube and the, just the internet in general taking over the over information. That's where everyone gets their information from. Uh, the opportunity to go on television on cable television is kind of interesting at this, at this moment. It's, we're like at, at Pompeii's end here or something.
show was predicated in some sense and it had a visual artist Allison Evans, visual artist and writer Darren Jones, and visual artist stylist, you know, Pontifical Theater, Jimmy De Castillo, in it as well. And uh, this is all for the in the basement of general practice. This is the work that was, uh, that was done. Um, pretty fun stuff. This is Allison Evans' work, but he's very, uh, 
builds fantastic bodies. The silver fantastic bones. This is how we decided to show them. We're going to this kind of like a cake wall thing. This is a um, this is Dan Jones. The dawn of a post freedom era. So the exhibition had artists living and working in Miami and living and working in New York, and basically. You had Nick Klein's work, you had Jack Will's work, you had Martin Murphy's work, you had Allison Evans in the exhibition. It was called Sunk. It took place uh, during the same time as the art fairs in Miami. And um, it was Viking Team the exhibition as well. The fun thing about these remaking these paintings, the Jack Will and sending them along other works, was that you had suicide policies in the bottom. So, so uh, underneath the paintings, it was doing vinyl. Um, suicide policies. I shouldn't be speaking for these artists. Let's do a thing in Hearst. There's a bathroom here. There's a little Ryman work in the bathroom. Really well placed. No one ever said that life was fair. Yeah. That's kind of where general practice comes from. It comes from this, this, this murky, uncivilized, woolly environment. Uh, that's where general practice comes from. And the content of general practice comes from the desire to show a kind of darkness, to distribute a kind of darkness, to, to, to experiment. Experiment. Heavy, heavy experimentation going on. 